come from public school backgrounds, so you're a little bit different to probably most of these boys here. How did you kind of get into rugby being from a very dominated league background in schools? Yeah, so when I was younger I played soccer um, up until I was like eight and then my brother played rugby so I just followed him. Okay. And then, so that's where I went to Warnervale and I've just played there ever since. What was your initial reaction to getting in the schoolboy side? Oh, just super excited and mum and dad real proud and it's just good, all the hard work pays off. And um, gelling with the boys, how's that been? Yeah, it's good. You'd think coming in it's going to be lonely. Some of those boys have a schoolmate with them and I don't, but they're all a good bunch, so I feel fine. Big international trip, you've got five games coming up. How do you think you guys will go? Yeah, I reckon we'll go real well with the addition of the boys from out of school as well. A bit of change of scenery, so I reckon it'll, it'll be good. Is there anyone in particular you know you look at or model your game off? Yeah, probably Bernard Foley. I like how he plays direct and it's not fancy like the rest of them. And they're pulling away on the right-hand side. Great show and go from Walton. Walton does well. Jeans throws it out. Gordon, great line by Walton. Walton still going. We spoke earlier in the match about the combination of the two New South Wales one boys, Walton and Ilias. They combined to put their wingers over 30% of the team's tries in the national championships this year.